Okay, so recently I moved, so this is my new house. I fulfilled my dream of getting a sectional couch. I'm gonna show the horse areas because that's really what everyone cares about, but that's why I've been MIA. It's been really stressful. Moving an entire farm sucks. Zero out of 10, do not recommend. It's awful. I still have a ton of unpacking to do. The house is a mess, so um, still going through it still very stressed and still trying to catch up on lots of stuff but finally getting there and it's going to be a very exciting move and i'm going to be able to do way better content for everyone i think because i have an arena and it's just a better setup especially for winter so i'm really looking forward to it once everything kind of settles but thank you for bearing with me and uh stay tuned for what's going to be coming up next with the horses and once I'm actually unpacked, like, see, you can see all the laundry and stuff I need to do. Once I'm actually unpacked, I will do more of a house tour because I did some DIY stuff that I'm pretty excited about. Also, there's the fireplace. That's going to be my office. But as you can see, needs some unpacking. You know, for one. <laughs> Is it good? Pleading, like, this crazy. But He's helping. Thanks, thank you so much. Careful, because he might throw it if he picks it up. <laughs> if you throw that at me, I'm going to be kind of choked. Such a stupid boy. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to a day in the life episode. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to be doing a little day in the life vlog today. So we are heading to go drop off cardboard and recyclables because I missed the recycling pickup this morning. And since we just moved, I have a ton of stuff that I need to get recycled and just like a lot of stuff to like tidy up and clean. So we're gonna go do that first and then I'm gonna go drive to ride a client horse uh, named Forza. And then I probably have a bit of a gap between her and my next client. So during that gap, I'm planning on just heading home and cleaning up some stuff. And you'll get the barn tour for the new place soon, don't you fret. Uh, but I just wanted to do a little bit of like a day in the life because I haven't really done this, um, especially when I'm going to like clients' places. Uh, however, I'll only be filming at the clients' places that are like okay with it, so you're probably only gonna see Forza today. Forza and I walking out to go for a ride. Forza's a four-year-old draft cross. She a big girl. She a big girl. Just cleaning some tack, and I have some helpers. These are the barn cats. Unfortunately, they're not mine. This is Neil. Yes. Looks like you smell. Here's Neil's brother, Andy. And then there's a third one. Some. Oh, there he is. There's Muggins. Neil's my favorite. He's my little friend. Apparently we're a big fan of Ariat boots. What do you think, Muggins? How am I supposed to get anything done when these guys are around? There's so much to say. What?
a day in the life of me. This is what I'm going to the grocery store in, okay? I'm all stained in tack cleaner and I'm wearing like a sweatsuit. Um, so I'm gonna probably get some looks, but also like I'm not put on this earth to look attractive for people, so. So it's taking me a while to get to the point where I don't really care about like looking messy and grungy because like in my line of work, like I'm out doing clients and driving around or like cleaning tack and like picking paddocks and just doing like dirty jobs like you can't really work with horses and not get dirty like i like to be efficient so like i'm not the type of person who's like i'm gonna go home and change before going to the grocery store it's like no i'm gonna go to the grocery store because if i go home first then i'm not going to go to the grocery store so i've hit the point in my life where i'm like i wasn't put on this earth to be attractive to people so if they think i look gross in public that's like a them problem like we have eyelids for a reason it's like just close your eyes look the other way don't be around me and yeah we all gotta just live our lives and do what we need to do without caring as much about what other people think about it and it's taken me a long time to get there and it's something I still have to consciously work on in other situations but with the grocery store stuff it's just like efficiency like I would not be eating and doing the things that I'm doing if I had to worry that much it's hay time. These are three out of six nets that we're bringing out to these guys. And then time to pick the track. Got one net there, one there, and then I hooked the other one to the other side of the shelter. And then I'm gonna put one in this corner over here and some along that fence line because I have three more. But first I'm gonna start picking their poops so that when I exit with the wheelbarrow, I don't have to do an unnecessary trip here and back. I'm pretty tired today. Milo. Milo has been settling in very well. And I think he likes it here. Right? Pogo. Thanks, he's been settling in well. He got in an argument with a fence because him and Leo, who is the other chestnut that kind of looks like him, that doesn't live out with them, they had a bit of beef and we think that he might have ticked through the gate because the gate was bent so his legs are a little cut up but they're healing nicely he's just a little twerp hey Janus Hey Mimi, hey, coming behind you, good boy, hi Fogo, hi, the way they shit around this truck confuses me because like some days it's like really spaced out and then other days it's just like they have a freaking party in one area, even when it's not like all their hay is being left in in that area. Okay, we got hay there. Usually I put one up there, but today I'm really sore from kickboxing, so I'm not going to. And I have one bale I dropped over there that I just have to grab and move. And then they have their six bales, and then tomorrow I'll give them some underneath the ring feeder there. Hi, Junis B. Hey, hey. 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 Pogo's butthole in the way. Hey. And then Banksy's like, hey. I need to fix your hair, miss. I need to fix your hair. Okay, so I'm all done for the day. Another day not working my horses because I'm very sore and I had clients today and just like general stuff to do, so. I intend to make more time to do stuff with my own horses soon and then there will be more videos but it's hard. It also gets just really tiresome like wandering around setting up a camera and doing all the stuff to vlog and like actually make it a good vlog and I've just kind of stopped caring <laughs> enough to kind of do it when I already have so much to do throughout the day so that's that and anyways that's a little update. I'm going to do a video that I'll show more in depth on the new place soon. Or if you want to see like the setup vlogs and all that jazz, you can 
subscribe to my Patreon and um, I've posted a bunch of vlogs of me like settling into the move, moving stuff over from the old place and just the whole process of getting stuff set up. Ha, 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 ha.